This is the story of the very smallest and most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen. We have to realize though that hydrogen never acts alone. It has a partner in both benevolence and crime. And that partner is oxygen. Together, these two gases can create something as harmless and wonderful as water or something as deadly as an explosion. The easiest way to find hydrogen on Earth is to find water. Hydrogen's name means water maker, and that's what happens when it combines with oxygen. There are over 16 times more hydrogen atoms in this glass of water than all the stars in the known universe. But maybe you're like me and you find it hard to believe that liquid water is made from two gases. But why don't we take water apart and prove it? Let's use the energy from 12 volts of electricity to break the bonds holding the water molecules together. Those bubbles tell you you are witnessing liquid water being split into two dry gases. The gases are being collected in test tubes. Now, we'll lower this test tube full of one of the gases over the candle. That pop was evidence that that gas was hydrogen. Okay, it's time to dig more deeply into this hydrogen-oxygen relationship. Here's what happens when you bubble pure hydrogen into a soap solution and you ignite it. It combines with oxygen in the air and it makes water, releasing heat in the form of a flame. But this next time, we're gonna actually add oxygen from this tank into the balloon with the hydrogen. So we'll get a completely different reaction. Please plug your ears. Wow, those two sets of bubbles reacted completely different. Both use hydrogen to oxygen, but in different ratios. The first one used the 21% oxygen from the air, so oxygen was in short supply. The second set of bubbles had 100% oxygen mixed in with the hydrogen in the same ratio as that of water. Two parts hydrogen to one part of oxygen. And look how much more energy was released. What do you get when you cross hydrogen with a soap bubble? Have you ever wanted to open a Pringles can using hydrogen? Here's your instructions. Number one, poke a hole in the top of the can and also in the bottom of the can. Number two, notice how good the Pringles look inside the can. Number three, fill the can with pure hydrogen, pushing out all the air inside. Number four, light the can at the top where the hydrogen is escaping and where it finds its partner oxygen. Number five, wait. Allow the hydrogen to burn at the top, which brings in air through the bottom hole to replace it. Number six, wait until the mixture reaches the explosive limit around 60% hydrogen to 40% air. Number seven, plug your ears. And number eight, grab a Pringle and enjoy.